with the life of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is a life. Right. Uh, now, we'll meet up. I want to meet you on the phone that I can hear from audible. Uh, can you can you hear me from the laptop? From the from the laptop. Can you hear me? You can't hear me from the laptop. Can you hear me from the laptop? Uh, can you hear me now? I have, I have, I have muted. I've muted uh, on the on the live. Can you hear me on the laptop? Can you hear me? Eh, eh, namita, namita live, laptop. I want you to hear me if, if you can hear me right now. Can you hear me, Mr. Chen? On the, on the laptop, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can Ah. Okay. Okay. So I'm ready. Good morning to you all, ECD grade one and grade two students. We are going to start our Holy Mass in this Lenten season. Lent is a moment where we ask Jesus Christ to help us to pray, to fast, and to give. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. So what I want you to do is that I want you to respond where you are. I want you to respond with your parents. I want you to respond and so that we can be able to worship the Lord. Today is a Friday, the 5th of March, which is the first Friday of the month of March and we want to ask God to help us to be good students in everything that we do, to be good students, to do our work very well, to listen to our parents, and also to be with our brothers and sisters and to listen to them and to love them. Before we say this mass, we want to uh, tell God that we have been doing so many wrong things. We've been doing so many wrong things in everything that we were doing, 
And so we want God to forgive us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, and what I have felt to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask blessed ever Virgin Mary and all the angels and saints and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty Lord, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. So this prayer is called the collect. It means that as I'm praying here, you too are praying and pray for your families, pray for your relatives and pray for your friends and pray for the school too. Grant, we pray, Lord, we ask you to be with the ECD students, to be with the grade one students, to be with the grade two students. Give them the strength to be with you, to love you and to serve you. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we have our first reading, then we have our gospel reading. Our first reading comes from Genesis chapter 37, verse 3 to 28. Verse 3 to 28. Israel loved Joseph more than any other of his children because he was the son of his old age. And he made him a long robe with sleeves. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him and could not speak peacefully to him. Now his brothers went to pasture their father's flock near Shechem. And Israel said to Joseph, are you not your brothers pasturing and flock at Shechem? Come, I will send you to them. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them at Dothan. They said to him afar off and saw him before he came near them. They conspired against him to kill him. They said to one another, here comes the streamer. Come now, let us kill him and throw him into the pits. And when shall they what beasts see him, they'll devour him. And we shall tell no more of his dreams. But then Reuben heard it, he delivered him out of their hands, saying, Let us not take his life. And Reuben said to them, Shed no blood, cast him into the pit here in the wilderness, but lay no hand on him, that he might rescue him out of the hand to restore him to his father. So Joseph came to his brothers, they stripped him off his robe, the long robe with sleeves he wore, and they took him and cast him into a pit. The pit was empty there with no water in it. Then they sat down to eat. And looking up, they saw a cavern of Ishmaelites coming from Gilead, with their camels bearing gum, balm, and man on their way to carry to Egypt. Then Judah said to his brothers, what profit is it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood? Come let us sell him to the Ishmaelites and let not our hand be upon him. For he is our brother, our own flesh. And his brothers heeded him. Then Midianites traded, passed by. And they drew Joseph up and lifted him up out of the pit and sold him to the Ishmaelites for 20 shekels of silver. And they took Joseph to Egypt. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is, remember the wonders the Lord has done. Remember the wonders the Lord has done. 
But he called down a famine on the land. He brought their stuff of bread. He had sent a man ahead of them. Joseph sold as a slave. Response. Remember the wonders the Lord has made. His feet were weighed down his chains. His neck was bound with iron until what he said came to pass. And the word of the Lord proved him true. Response. Remember the wonders the Lord has done. Verses before the gospel. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should have eternal life. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, hear another parable. There, were, there was a householder who planted a vineyard and set a hedge around it and dug a winepress in it and built a tower and leased it to tenants and went into another country. When the season of fruit drew near, he sent his servant to the tenants and get, to get the fruit. And the tenant took his servant to bid one, killed another, and stoned another. Again, he sent other servants more than the first, and they did the same to them. Afterward, he sent his son to them, saying, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, this is a, the heir. Come, let us kill him and have his inheritance. And they took him and cast him out of the vineyard and killed him. Therefore, the owner of the vineyard comes. What will you do to the tenants? They say to him, you will put those wretches to the miserable death and list the vineyard to other tenants who will give them the fruits of their season. Jesus said to them, have you never read the scriptures? The very stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our ears, eyes. Therefore I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to the nation producing the fruits of it. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard these parables, they perceived that he was sparkling and speaking about them. But when they tried to arrest him, they feared the multitudes because they held him as a prophet. The gospel of the Lord. So today, we learn some important things. The first thing, Love your brother, love your sister. Love them and be with them. When they speak to you, listen to them. Joseph was hated by his brothers because God loved him, his father loved him. But why? Because Joseph did very, very good things. He was a good son. You want to be a good daughter to your father, to your mother, and to those that you stay with. Listen to them. Follow what they say. If they tell you to do the dishes, do them. If they tell you to do your bed, do it. If they tell you to tidy your room, tidy it. If they tell you to be quiet, be quiet. If they tell you it's time to switch out the TV and drive home, do that. If they tell you what everything that they want to tell you, do it. That's what it means to be a good child. And when you have done it all, God will love you. God will bless you. God will be with you. He will always be with you because God loves good children. He loves good girls that listen to him. He will love you and he will be there for you. And guess what? Like Joseph, he will give you a very nice coat or jacket. A very nice one. And it's spiritual. A very nice one. And when anyone looks at you, they'll say, oh my. She's looking very smart. So God will make you smart amongst your friends, amongst your brothers, amongst your sisters. So this morning in this mass, we have learned three important things. Number one, love your brothers. Say this before me, say this after me. Love your brothers and sisters. Love your brothers and sisters. Love your brothers and sisters. Number two, 
Obey your parents. Obey your parents. Obey your parents. Number three, the important one. Love God. Love God. Love God. Now we go into our offertory. As we go into our offertory, we want to ask the Lord to help us so that we may give a very good offering to him that comes from our hearts. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, food of the earth and work of human hands to become the bread of life. This is the bread, what we would offer. So we pray, but may it become the bread of life. Then I'll take wine. I'll pour in a little bit of water. This is the wine that we found. And so this wine may it help us to love God when it becomes his blood, the fruit of the divine work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Wash me, Lord, from all my sins. That I may be able to offer this sacrifice that may these souls be saved. Pray, my dear children, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. May your merciful graces prepare your servant, O Lord, for the worthy celebration of these mysteries, that what we have gathered here for with the ECD, the great one, and the great two, may be a good offering and sharing to you. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Jesus died for us, and Jesus wants us to be with him. And us always offer the sacrifice so that we may be blessed. As we say, holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, the sun in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the sun in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, babe. Sending forth your spirit out for them like the Jewful. And may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. This is the bread. And Jesus was sitting with his disciples. Then he broke the bread. Then he gave them, and then he said, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. And then he raised it, and then he broke it, and then he gave it to the disciples as they were at supper, and they ate. At the end of the meal, like what we do sometimes, we, we have a drink or we drink some water. In the Jewish culture, they drink wine. So he took a chalice or a cup. Then he raised it up. And then he gave thanks to pray. Then he said to the disciples, take this all of you. There was Peter, there was James, there was Andrew, there was John. The chalice, the cup of my blood. But there was wine they didn't understand. The blood of the new and eternal covenant. So this began the new covenant from the old covenant. Or the new testament from the old testament which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. This is why we say mass every day, every time in honor of Jesus. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of our salvation. Giving thanks to your elders worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your checks were throughout the world. Bring into the fullness of charity, together with Francesco, our Pope, and Robert, our Archbishop. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Walk on them in the light of your face. If mess on our soul, we pray, that the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the blessed apostles and all the saints, we please you throughout the ages. We may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, the end of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Then we all rise. Let's stand up wherever we are, in our homes, wherever we are. Let's stand up and say the Lord's Prayer. Come on, everybody. Stand up, stand up, ECD. Stand up, pray one, stand up, pray two. Good. And the Savior's command informed by divine teaching. Let's all say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. You will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. As you forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every form of evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, you may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As you await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, power, and glory are yours forever and ever. Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for peace in our homes, peace in our hearts, peace where our dad works, our mom works, peace everywhere, peace in the whole world. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and grace the God and peace and unity in accordance with your will, lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. I want you to shake hands at home as a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you enter under my roof, but only say your word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Having received the pledge of eternal salvation, Lord, we thank you. You've come to us. You are to strengthen us and to give us hope. For those in ECD, pray that one day you receive communion. Grade one and grade two, those who are doing lessons, continue to pray and ask the Lord to strengthen you. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you so much, um, Sister Titi and all those who are behind the technical team, Mr. Mchenji, and all the teachers, and I thank you, all the parents who are with the children right now, and all, all the ECD kids, I love you. Grade ones, my God, I love you too. Grade twos, the big sisters at the moment, I love you. Continue to love your brothers and sisters, to love and listen to your parents, and to love and pray to God. I wish you joy. Lent is about giving. Let's think about those who do not have and let's love them. Let's always pray. Pray in the morning, pray in the evening, pray before you eat. Be a good girl, a good, happy, strong girl. That's what we want. And I also will pray for you. I heard that school will start anytime soon. 
Continue to pray that you do so. Remember to wear your mask. Remember to sanitize. Remember to keep social distancing. And remember to be a good girl. Do your homework. Do your homework. Do your homework. Um, now I will bless you. The Lord be with you. Receive the blessing of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has come to an end. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Now you can go to do your classes and enjoy. And I want you to spend the whole day smiling, being a good girl. Thank you.